Leg three of the Tour de Course, the fourth round of the IRC series and a tricky day ahead for the Skoda UK crew. Cool heads in the hot car saw the current IRC series leaders battle hard to get back to fifth overnight, but they start the final run of stages in no man's land, nearly four minutes off the lead and more than a minute ahead of the chasing pack. We have finished two stages and uh, still a long day left. Uh, we begin uh, in a good pace, we find a really good rhythm and uh, really hard not to enjoy these stages. I mean, the weather, the, the conditions and all the fans out there, is, uh, the atmosphere is amazing. To climb the leaderboard, they'd need one of the teams in front to have their own piece of bad luck. The Skoda UK Motorsport team decision was to press on without jeopardising the 10 points they could bank in the championship for finishing fifth. Even with this measured approach away from the start line, the setup was good enough to see them go second fastest through stage 9 and third fastest through stage 10. On days like this, the service park crew like to tinker with the car if they can and try experimenting a different setup or with different parts. And for the crew, it's licensed to test in the very best competitive conditions. The thing about doing as we're, what we're doing now, uh, trying to get the car to the finish with now, no problems, we're not fighting for anyone, but we need to keep a certain pace. It's, it's quite difficult to keep the concentration level all the time, all the time where it should be. Uh, so I do a lot of talking with, with my trainer Roy and uh, he's coming to a lot of the rallies, so especially for this rally when, it's, when we're in this position, it's, uh, it's good to have him here to, to, for, to make me sure that I, I keep the concentration level up there all the time and I find the positives um, out of everything even though I'm, I've been very unlucky on this rally. So, no, I think it's working very well. Um, we are not uh, pushing, we are just enjoying the stages. Um, and that's uh, what we're trying to focus on all the time. And uh, it's not hard when the stages are looking like this. In the final four stages of the event, even without pushing the Skoda UK Fabia S2000 too hard, the crew were keeping pace with the front runners and were in no danger of being caught. A beautiful setting for a testing 10 hours in the car, but another 10 points in the bag for the team. Enough to keep defending champions Andreas and Ulla top of the Intercontinental Rally Challenge leaderboard, 13 points in front of the next best. The crew will be gearing up for gravel on the next event in the IRC series, the Rally of Sicily, but until then, follow their preparations on Facebook or Twitter or via skodaukmotorsport.com.